So the Guilford Run Bioretention is an effort to mitigate the stormwater running off Lot 1. So the stormwater runs into Guilford Run Bioretention into this garden here, and it has a chance to filter uh, naturally through the plants and through the soils. And so this, this cleans up the water before it gets into the Anacostia River, and it also prevents erosion and flash flooding in Guilford Run and the Anacostia River. Because the moss helps inhibit the growth of bacteria, various microorganisms, algae, different waterborne agents, we don't have to use as much chlorine to treat the pool water. We also have to backwash the filters less because we don't have those bacteria and algae in there, so we use about 75% less water annually. Backwashing is the process of reversing the flow of the water, which washes the filters, and we usually just discard the water because we, we can't use it. Successful implementation here at the University of Maryland might attract local and national swimming pools to also install this in their facilities making us a leader in sustainable aquatic practices at the University of Maryland. This is one of the uh, constructed wetlands that the Watershed Project is focusing on with water conservation. This wetland helps to filter any rainwater that uh, falls onto our roof. This, this water is collected specifically from our solar panel uh, PV roof. Water is stored in here and is uh, conditioned until it is needed for irrigation on site. We want it to be a big community space where people can come hang out, like students or faculty or the workers here at UMD. We want to have shows here um, where people can play music or do poetry. Um, we want it to be a multi-use space, basically, not just a place to grow food. So that is probably one of our main focuses, but it's not just that. We spent a lot of time hauling a ton of dirt up here, and now to see all this food growing, such abundance up here, um, it feels really amazing. Kind of providing for yourself without taking away from anyone else, and uh, this way we, we're doing just that. We're getting vegetables and having this experience working in the earth, but at the same time we're giving back, we're composting, and showing everyone else what they're capable of doing on campus. The, the, the goals for the project are in this order. Uh, teach people about alternative energy generation, mostly students, but we're also developing a curriculum and a mobile unit to take out the local high schools and local grade schools and communities around the area. That's first and foremost. Second is to use the array and everything else for that we eventually add to it for research. Any professor on campus is open to utilize it if there's something way, shape, or form that they think they can use our facilities to advance alternative energy generation, that's open to them. And thirdly, and lastly, and not really like least important, but as to when we're not doing anything else with, with it, is to uh, use the power that we're generating in a meaningful way. The vision for the garden is going to be a student teaching and community garden. Part of the mission is to raise awareness about sustainable agriculture, educate um, people in the community about food, how to use food, um, you know, getting in garden for exercise, promoting good environmental practices and uh, just kind of healthy practices in general. We're all very disconnected from our food, so therefore it has less value, but when you get out there and create it, there's sweat equity, and you also know what's going into it, and you're also eliminating all those miles that it travels to get to you. When it came down to it, everybody has been on board so far and because they're really excited about using the university as a living classroom.